How can I help? Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. Like all who join the Order, I have learned to embrace the life I've chosen. I had to let go of my attachments to my family. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. How can I help? Then I suggest... Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. What can I Don't worry. Okay. Hey there. What can... No problem. Just anything else. Nope. Any Nope. Anything else? Nope. Anything else? No prop any No prop any Nope. Any Nope. Any No prop any Nope. Any nope. Anything else? Sorry.
Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover... The force should not be used for profit and personal gain. When now for the two No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Speak with the director if you need information. I only deal with... Salbar should be here. He shouldn't miss this. He needs to know he can come back here. I can't talk for Big Z, but believe me, he should be with us. He's got unfinished business here. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. F Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with me. Of course. You're in a hurry.
Hello again. Value. You hurt me, madam. It's the debt of your crew that... Enslaved? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. Uh, yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you... Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deeds. A word is a bond in trade. Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. An honest man and a good mechanic. Seems like you got a favorable trade, sir. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course. In I... Yeah. Something... You think... Oh, it isn't about the amount. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. <clears throat> as I was saying, he'll be free to go when his friend... See you... How can I help? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I've seen you give in to temptation and indulge your baser emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, or temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up and... I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? And how adept must one become at making excuses for one's actions if suffering is the result? How long before you stop making excuses at all? It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side, but I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand, when the time comes. Welcome to Adia. I trust you will find our facilities pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. Please take any inquiries you have. I'm conducting experiments on various samples of indigenous plant life. There may be untapped pharmaceutical resources here. Of course, that will take some time, and the Wookiees are a more immediate source of income. Please, I must return to my work. Farewell. Oh, you see that, yeah.
Chopa chawi ti chot wis yun kun watu yama kama wuna henak nek bugra shak kun ti chi wa un chawa. I am Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu kicha badwang wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kakin chak nawa gawa bak. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Kakin cha na guat na bon con, wana kum best. My mother's contin un pao do punta krita, ak ti konda una chaba chisa. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she, did she say anything about my father? Gen chopa chawi ti chot wis yun kun, watu yama kama. I see. Where did you meet her, do you remember? Cha chika don mulaka. Thank you for informing me. It seems my mother's been looking for me. <laughs> Strange. We never did. I am in part of me, would rather not see her at all. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off! <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... <laughs> He wouldn't try to leave me behind! Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. You damn well know it. She's nothing but a sleazy scam artist. If Mission knew it was good for her, she'd forget he ever existed. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. That's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Jolt is forced to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off. 
I would never use the Force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Ah, oh, come on. There's got to be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't test... Ah, you ain't so bad. Was there anything else you needed? Watch yourself out there. There won't be... What?
get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. <laughs> Is ready, men. This fool wants to die. Oh, my God. 
Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. What do you This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. Put it down. That's right. Just shut up. Good. Watch us. What is it now? Of course they don't. 
would you ask me that? You tried to get me to admit to and This Wookiee got out of hand. Well, all right then. Thanks for taking care of that, Captain. You shut up. I'm not done with...
I'm here. 